Hello there. Today, if I may, I'd like to talk to you about this particular clock in my inventory. It's a very rare and beautifully made electromechanical wall regulator made around 1912 by a little known genius called Percival Arthur Bentley. Percival Bentley trained as an electrical engineer with an amateur interest in electrical horology, which finally became a trade when he set up his Bentley clockmaking workshops in Burton-on-Trent in Leicester in 1902. When war broke out in 1914, his workshops had to devote themselves to making engineering parts for the war effort, and it never really got back on its feet again. So Bentley only made clocks for 12 years between 1902 and 1914, and he had just 12 skilled workmen in his workshops. So his output was extremely small. Remarkably, within just a few years of setting up in 1902, Bentley's electric clocks were attracting wide acclaim. His main distributor in the UK was the newly opened Harrod store in Knightsbridge, London. But he also went on to sell his clocks in the USA and Canada. In fact, one of his salesmen, a certain Mr Jarvis, was sent over on a business trip to New York with some of Bentley's stock. Unfortunately, his mode of transport was the SS Titanic, which meant that on April 15, 1912, the unfortunate Mr Jarvis and the clocks sank to the bottom of the ocean. When Bentley started in 1902, only a tiny handful of people in the whole world were developing electric clocks. Bentley was a true pioneer. Bentley made his clocks to be literally driven by the earth. It seems almost fictional, but nevertheless, Bentley's clocks were powered by burying carbon and zinc electrodes in damp earth three to four feet deep. This earth battery provided one volt of energy at the clock terminals, which was enough to drive the clock. In fact, earth-driven clocks were remarkably accurate and capable of keeping time to within a minute a year. And in fact, the one in Leicester Museum ran accurately for 40 years without requiring any attention whatsoever. So how does the clock work? Well, in layman's terms, the bent bar in the centre of the backboard is actually a magnet and swinging around it is an electrical coil. Above this, sitting on smart carved mahogany volutes, is the electrical contact system. When the pendulum starts to lose impetus, it slows, and then the steel roller, the gadget making the noise, clicks a little further back, and that makes an electrical circuit, which energizes the magnet below just enough to give the coil around it a tiny bit of electrical boost, giving the pendulum a tiny but important amount of impetus. This is repeated in perpetuity every few seconds, and it keeps the pendulum in perpetual swinging motion. The mechanical part of the clock is in the centre of the dial, where the swing of the pendulum interacts with the escapement. And just like a normal mechanical clock, the escapement in turn rotates the motion work, which in turn rotates the seconds, minute and hour hands. You can see the advantage. No spring or weight need be wound every week. All that was required was this steady supply of electricity from Mother Earth. Quite brilliant, really. So there it is. I hope this was interesting for you. The clock is for sale for just £16,000. And if you fancy it hanging on your own study wall, all you have to do is get in touch. Thanks for listening.